let's talk about how a vitamin D deficiency could affect your teeth. Now this mainly occurs when you're a baby just before your teeth are coming in. And this condition is basically rickets of the teeth. Now rickets is a vitamin D deficiency. And because rickets affect bone, it can affect your teeth as well. So let's go through this. Number one, enamel hypoplasia. Now what does that mean? It means that the enamel or the protective strong coating around the teeth is not developing correctly. So it's either thinned or even in some cases absent. That can really increase the risk of that tooth getting a cavity. You can develop white spots and a yellow coloring on the tooth, little pits on the teeth or grooves that can lead to additional cavities and also sensitivities to cold and heat. Number two, missing teeth, which by the way is very, very common. And these people had no idea this was simply a vitamin D deficiency. And number three, delayed teeth. So the teeth are not coming in very fast. So apparently vitamin D has a huge connection between the enamel in your teeth, if the teeth are gonna come in, and when the teeth are gonna come in. And the reason I talk a lot about vitamin D is because I believe it's probably the most important vitamin. It's not really even a vitamin, it's a hormone and it does so many things. It regulates calcium. It works also with vitamin K2 because vitamin D increases the calcium in the blood by 20 times. But guess what? You need vitamin K2 to take that calcium that's in the blood or in the joints or in soft tissues and drive it into the bone and the teeth. So vitamin K2 is very, very important in teeth as well. When I was a, a small child, I used to crave butter. I mean, I could literally eat an entire pound of butter in one sitting. Uh, and I would try to get a lot of butter, but my parents were like, what are you eating all that butter for, right? It's gonna, it might have too much cholesterol and clog your arteries. But guess what? Butter is loaded with K2, and that's really what I needed. And it could be why I had pretty much cavities in every single tooth in my head. But a vitamin D deficiency also relates to low back pain. So if you have lower back pain or any pain in the body or any type of inflammation, take some vitamin D. It really, really works. Uh, I would recommend 20,000 IUs per day. And make sure you add with that 200 micrograms of K2. Okay, so the ratio is for every 10,000 I use of D3, you need 100 micrograms of K2. That's the, the ratios. And also vitamin D is essential in your immune system. It's an immune modulator. Nearly every autoimmune condition is deficient in vitamin D. Vitamin D deficiencies can set you up for getting viral infections, bacterial infections, definitely the flu. And also loss of bone, um, osteopenia, osteoporosis, you need D3 and K2 together. So in summary, I wanted just to emphasize the importance of vitamin D and how it works. And number two, identify these three things that could occur if you have children, it's a vitamin D deficiency. And if you have these issues right now and you're older, it could mean that you were deficient as a child and you could still be deficient now. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, press the button below and I will keep you in the know. Hey, that rhymes.